Paging Dr. Ruby. Dr. Ruby is here and ready to help. Hello, Ruby friends and fans. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Paging Dr. Ruby. I'm Zach Martinson. And I'm Monica Daly. Welcome back. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at making meaningful connections. This topic comes from Ruby client Pete, who asks, I loved your Ruby service pyramid episode and all that it offered. I was wondering if you might elaborate on how to make meaningful connections with new clients. That's a superb question. Once you've spoken with your new customer and the ball is rolling, you have an excellent opportunity to start making some fantastic connections. Keeping it personal in the virtual world is a crucial first step. In a world of text messages, emails, and phone conversations, a note card, it really goes a long way. Yeah, great tip, Zach. Taking the time to welcome a new customer with a handwritten note shows them that you care by just taking some time out of your day to really thank them. Keeping it personal also means not getting stuck in verbal ruts. It's easy to use the same, how are you, type phrase with every call, but what is it really saying to your caller? Do you really care? Of course you do, so why not show it? Try mixing things up. Try something like, Hey Steve, what's new in your world? Not much. Still recovering from Golden State's championship loss. But, you know, hanging in there. That old brawn though, man. Mixing up your phrasing in a world of monotonous phone speak, it's unexpected and will garner a real answer from your customers. It's a great way to make connections and foster real conversation. Speaking of real connections, consider subscribing to your customers' blogs, social networks, or stop by their website from time to time. Acknowledging your customers' successes, new hires, or struggles gives you the opportunity to really wow them. Exactly. They're investing in your company after all. Why not take the time to invest in theirs? Janet, wonderful to finally have a chance to catch up. I saw you scored a new paralegal. Congratulations. The bottom line is be sincere. If you genuinely care about your customers, they will notice and reciprocate. Every interaction is an opportunity to make your customers day. It's the small things that count, and these are the interactions that really set your business apart. Yeah, there are millions of ways to accomplish these types of connections. So to keep it easy, we recommend you keep these three tips in mind. First tip, share your passion. Share why you got into your industry on your website and real photos of your office. Be open and honest about your company's mission and values. Giving customers the opportunity to get to know you, whether it's via your website or social media, starts creating loyal fans even before your first communication with them. Our second tip is focus on relationships. Unlike large corporations, small businesses are better able to build one-on-one -on -one relationships with their customers. Word of mouth referrals are a huge source of growth for small businesses. When a customer feels cared for, they will tell their friends about your product or service. And this type of brand loyalty is invaluable. It's so true. And the easiest way to achieve this is to just keep a section of your client's accounts reserved just for special information, like their birthday or even their favorite sport. Our final tip is pay attention to the details. Everything from your website to your business cards, even the layout of your office entrance offers a chance to set a great impression and provides a unique experience for your customers. Well, that wraps it up for this episode of Paging Dr. Ruby. Huge thanks to Pete for his excellent question. If you're looking for communication advice or tips about the Ruby service, we're here to help. Dr. Ruby's always on the case. Send us your questions to Twitter, at CallRuby, Facebook, or just simply put them in the comments below. Bye. Bye.